So as you mentioned, we will move to uh, the next session, uh, which will focus on two different modules. And the first one is on the site characterization module. And so if we go to this slide, we see the different modules that are used. Um, first, as Donald explained, we talk about uh, the user using the deployment design tools, then the assessment tools, and then using stage gate and structure innovation in an iterative loop. And the next presentation will be about the use of this module here, which uh, is the site characterization module. And I will then pass the floor to my colleague, Yuen. Good afternoon, all. Okay, can you can you show my screen? Can you see my screen? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. You are not in presenter mode yet. Yes. Perfect. Uh, so thank you, Nell. Uh, so I'm Yuen Carvela from France Energy Marine, and uh, I will present to you the, the seed characterization module uh, that we have developed at uh, France Energy Marine uh, with Nicolas Michelet. Uh, so okay, here are the, the objectives uh, of the of this uh, seed characterization tool. Uh, which are to receive uh, as input the env environmental data of the set of interest and then to output uh, post process uh, ready to use uh, data to the other module and uh, also to, uh, to output uh, results to the user uh, for direct uh, visualization and uh, validation. In terms of uh, functionality, uh, there are first uh, databases uh, extractions. Uh, input databases are selected by the user on uh, the SC model, uh, reads all the input file and uh, extract the, the requested uh, variables. Then the statistic computations, uh, which are based on uh, the extraction, uh, they, they go from uh, basic ones to, uh, to extreme uh, value analysis on multivariate extreme value analysis, for example. And, um, and finally, to, to be consistent with the other tools, uh, the level of complexity of the project has also uh, been uh, accounted for. Uh, so in, uh, in six characterization, uh, there were three levels of uh, complexity. Um, in, uh, in level one, uh, the, uh, the input are in uh, one dimension, so a punctual input. And uh, the user defines uh, the level of energy for waves on uh, tidal currents only. At uh, complexity level two, uh, the, that's the same, but uh, the input are in two dimension. And uh, at, uh, at uh, the, the third level of uh, complexity, the user chooses in uh, his own databases uh, in 1D or in 2D. Okay, so let's go now to the Input. Uh, sorry. <clears throat> okay, so several databases are available as input in the, in the SC model. Oh, sorry for the presentation. Okay. Uh, the three first ones are fixed in time. Uh, that is to say that uh, there is no temporal dimension. Uh, so the bathymetry, the bathymetry from the Jacques consortium and uh, the bottom superficial sediment uh, type are available uh, in uh, two special resolution in, uh, in the SC tool, uh, respectively at a global extent and at the France, uh, France extent with, uh, with a more higher resolution. Uh, the third one uh, giving the probability of a presence of uh, 26 uh, endangered, endangered spaces is used in the environmental and social acceptance models that uh, Emma will present to you after. And then the main database from which the physical parameters, so wave, tidal currents, wind, and water levels uh, will be extracted is the uh, OMER databases uh, provided by uh, IFREMER. And uh, finally, in the 
uh, in the last uh, complexity level, the complexity level three, uh, the user is able to uh, to upload his own databases anywhere in the world and uh, in one uh, G or two D. In terms of uh, output, um, the SC model provides uh, 2D uh, data of uh, bas symmetry, symmetry types, and endangered spaces on the least area of, uh, of your project. And uh, then it, uh, it provides uh, the physical parameters on uh, two ways. So first, uh, the time series of uh, main parameters, like for example, uh, significant wave eye, uh, wind speed, tidal current speed, and uh, and also all the the statistics on uh, these main uh, parameters. So from a basic one, basic one are just uh, maybe the average, uh, the standard deviation, for example, and uh, probability distribution, joint probability distribution, and also uh, extreme uh, statistics. Note that all the computed outputs are provided to the other models of uh, the DT Ocean Plus uh, toolset. And uh, only uh, a selection of uh, outputs uh, is provided to the user for uh, direct visualization or validation. Okay, the, that's it. I'm done for the overview of the of the SC model. But uh, but before going to the live uh, demonstration, I will present to you some uh, verification cases uh, that we have used on uh, on which will be covered later by uh, by Nell and Emma. Uh, so in uh, in 2014, uh, a consortium uh, led by uh, Sandia National. Uh, laboratories in the US has developed uh, for uh, marine energy conversion uh, technology reference model for uh, producing renewable electricity from water current and wave. You can see the reference uh, just under. And uh, here are two of these reference models that we have uh, used in uh, DC, DT Ocean Plus. So first, the uh, RM1, the R1 reference model, uh, which is a dual water axial flow tidal turbine. Uh, it has been designed for reference tidal current energy resource model after the Tacoma Nauru in Puget Sound and Washington. Uh, on this seat, uh, sorry, uh, the water depth is around uh, 15 meters and the maximum uh, velocity which uh, three meters per second. The second one is the R1-3 uh, reference model, uh, which is a wave point uh, absorber, uh, designed for a reference wave energy resource model after wave site near Eureka in uh, California. And this is so water depths are from uh, 40 meters to 100 meters, and the centennial return value for HS is uh, between uh, 11 and 12 meters. <clears throat> so I will now present you, uh, present you the tool. Sorry, I have just to switch. Uh, okay. So here is the dashboard of uh, the characterization tool. Uh, you can see on the left panel, uh, you can have access to uh, to the different uh, section of uh, of the tool. Uh, you can see my mouse here. Okay. Uh, so you have first the home page uh, where you can create a new project or load a previous project, and uh, then when you create a project, uh, you will uh, you will be redirected to the inputs uh, section, and then uh, and then you can see the result in the output session, uh, section, and you have also links, uh, for example, to the DTOcean website. So. And you have also a link uh, to the documentation of the, of the model. Okay, so let's create a new project. For example, uh, for example, uh, just uh, organization. So first, you have to choose your level of complexity, uh, or level uh, level one, level two, or uh, level three. Uh, at level one. 
on even on level two, uh, you have just to select your your wave level of energy, so low, medium, and high, or high, and uh, your current level of energy. Uh, you have access to the basiometry that I have presented, so the the JEPCO one. And uh, if you want, you can also uh, select uh, the uniform depth, for example, uh, 25 meter. Okay, but I will present you a new project in a level three, that is a more complex uh, level. Okay, and for example, if we want to, to represent uh, the, our RM1 uh, verification case, uh, we have to select a different database. Uh, not that uh, you have uh, some user info uh, when you click on the uh, on the high. Uh, okay, and then uh, you can select your databases, and uh, you can also import uh, your your own databases. So, for example, I can uh, I can select the the RM1 this area and the RM1 corridor. <clears throat> which are the, the verification cases. So you select then your CBET type. Uh, it's in the US, so you select the world. Uh, you can select, select France. Uh, the same one for the worstness uh, length, which is uh, calculated from the CBET type. And uh, the spaces. Okay, then you have to select your time series of uh, physical parameters. So here is the uh, RM1 uh, time series. Okay, and then you have to select if you want a uniform bathymetry or not. And uh, we have seen that uh, in this site, there is a uniform bathymetry of uh, 50 meters. So into 50 meter. And then you can run the model. Okay, so there is a message uh, that says uh, your calculation is in progress. And uh, then you will have access to the to the log file uh, to verify if uh, if all is uh, is okay. Okay, so that you can see that uh, that you uh, you initialize the project and etc. Uh, the computation time is between uh, five and uh, ten minutes, uh, depending on your on your input uh, databases. So I have run before. Uh, the project, so we can uh, we can go to the we can go to the result uh, by going to uh, by going to the load the previous project. Uh, so, for example, for M1, uh, you can see the results. Oh, okay, sorry, I'm already uh, test training session. Ah, okay, it's already okay. Um, sorry for that. Uh, okay, center is under computation. <coughs> hmm. Hmm. Okay, sorry. So it's under computation that uh, you can uh, you can not have access to uh, to boots at the moment. Okay, sorry. Uh, the computation can uh, can take uh, a long time uh, for the for the extreme value analysis if you have uh, if you have uh, several years of course of uh, of data. Okay, so sorry for that. Okay, so the, you can see that the project is uh, will is also successfully created. Uh, so you can see the result. You have access to the output session, and you can have uh, another view of uh, of metation conditions or average condition for wave, current, wind, on the water levels. And you have also access in this section uh, to the extra value of uh, wave, current, and winds. So the, the one of five them on a 50 years uh, return value. And then you have access to a uh, wave parameters and current parameters, for example. And uh, you have access to, uh, to different variables like, uh, like the, the current speed and the energy flux, for example. And, uh, and then you can see some validation figures for, for your current uh, in the 
in scatter diagram format or in a Windows format. And then depending on your on your input, uh, you can see a 2D map. Uh, here is was a punctual input in 1D, so there is no 2D map. But if we go to another project, uh, for example here, uh, you can see that you have access to uh, to some uh, 2D map like uh, the symmetry or symmetry types, or also uh, current magnitude or, or wave wave height. Okay, that's all. Uh, that's all for me. Thank you.